Hi, everybody. Welcome back to That Eurovision site. We are continuing on discussing the artists that have been internally selected for this year's competition. And for today's video, I am joined by the lovely Cal, who will be Hello, joining me to, of course, if you haven't already seen by the title, we're, discuss <laughs> we're discussing used. Hopefully it pronounce that right because how do you actually pronounce it? Is it you? Okay, so like it's it's like toast. Yeah. And then yoast. So yoast. So like yeah, yeah. Yoast. It, it, that's oh, oh the, my, that's the Oh my god, it's remind me of 2017 Norway. Ooh, wait. Yo. It, yeah, yeah. It's literally <laughs> yoast again. It's literally <laughs> fucking yoast again. I was like, oh my god, 2017. Wait, what was that? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember. Yeah, so I was like, I was like, okay, Yoast, 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 okay, so we're gonna talk about Yoast. Okay, then. Yeah. First of all, um, I'm gonna ask you, like, um, of obviously this was done via a selection of people making a choice. Yeah. Do you think the right choice was made? I think, ooh, I don't know if the right choice was made. I think, I think it's definitely an interesting choice for me. It's more Paul Estak more than Yoast because mm. it's definitely lots of ns, ns, ns and not EDM. I think mm. it's 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 more it's more well nineties kind of vibe and Yoast is more modern but mm. modern EDM. Yeah. Um however I do think this will definitely stand out on a Eurovision stage and mm. oh boy. Europe mm -hmm. will watch. I don't know mm -hmm. what the reaction of Europe will be, but they will be like, wow. Yeah. There's uh, a party going over there. So I think a, a right choice. We will have to see. We will have to see, but definitely an interesting mm -hmm. one. And I think a good one. Yeah. Change is always good. Yeah. I mean, for me, like, look, I, I don't know much about Yoast. Um. Uh. When uh, the only reason why I knew of him was before, like when you know, okay, they're doing internal selection and yeah, and then he was just like, um, okay, I'm sending a song in, and he made that very like his in he made his intentions very clear Boy. From, from the outset. Yeah. I, I thought that if you were the type of artist that's sending a song to your vision, you would keep your mouth shut. But I'm guessing, I'm guessing him not. My <laughs> God, but he manifested it. It's yeah, he man he, boy manifested it really right. Hard. And I was just like, you're not gonna get selected because if you if you're just like, and then and then come the announcement, I was just like, I know. Oh my God, my God. <laughs> uh, the, the, literally, the Netherlands were shaking that day. Holy mm -hmm. shit, it was it was crazy. Mm -hmm. But can I just ask you, what was the reception like when obviously oh, after after that after after the you know after Avatar selected? Okay, he can go. Like everyone was literally like, yes, this is good. Like it was between I think um, an artist called Numidia, and she's mm -hmm. more like she uh, she she has a beautiful voice as well. But it would be like more ballad again and you know we're tired we're tired of ballads you know we've had them mm -hmm. all so much already and everyone was like oh my god it's yoast we're finally here to have a party we were finally here to hopefully get a good result um everyone was happy like not even like the the non-eurovision fans were like texting me dming me and we're like oh my god finally we have a good artist mm -hmm. this year um and yeah so like Literally, I'm not even fucking stretching this enough. Everyone was happy. Yeah, because I know from what I've seen, like, um, obviously you got the oh, finally we're getting something different out of Netherlands. Like, you know, uh, no, no shade to me and Dion and also Steen and you know, no, 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 no like, you know, good songs, but it's just like it's repetitive. I, yeah, it's rep I, I need something different and. Yeah, I I knew going into this like he he's that vibe was giving off the party vibe like you know all his yeah. social media posts where he was like oh it's a dude from Eurovision and then his um 
12 points to the Netherlands thing that he did on TikTok. And oh, and then when I and then when I when I saw it, I was like, okay. And then but there's also that you can't help it, but people keep saying that was this of the backhand of Caria, which is yeah. obviously like a bit like uh, is the Netherlands just jumping on a or on a trend, or are they just saying, okay, you know what? Let's send something different that might appeal. Because if if it appeals on the audiences on our country, let's see if we can yeah. spread that out. Is that is that what you think as well? Well, um, there, there were a lot of people that were saying like, oh, it's a dude from Finland 2.0. However, um, Karia didn't invent like EDM pop, yeah. you know. Jos has been doing it for years, for literal mm -hmm. years. And he's been trying to get into Eurovision for years as well. And I think mm -hmm. Karia was just like the, the, the push in the back that we as the Netherlands like need, like, okay, we now see that someone did it and got a good result. Maybe we can do the same. Yeah. Not as in, it's, it's, it's not the same. He's not trying to, to be like Karia, but it, yeah. it's definitely in, same street of genre yeah no it's like it, you you don't have it, it's not like a mirror for mirror like yaus has his own genre and own and his own style yeah so that, that i think that i think that's what that's what the fans and locals should understand is that you can't generalize yeah. one thing into just like lump, lump yeah. it. i mean as, as much as car i've seen Caria and yaus together on social media but it's like yeah <laughs> you know um <laughs> The, not the same thing. Not the same thing. Oh, oh, not I, at I, all. I, not I, I think that has to be reiterated. But um, when we're recording this, we actually record. Me and Cal are recording this. Euro right Papa, out. Euro Papa just got released an hour it's ago. Wild. It's what wild. are What are your thoughts? <laughs> well, okay. So, like, the thing is, I don't really like Paul Esther. I, I, I don't like his genre of music, but I love Yost. I fucking love Yost. So it's it's a really mixed sort of feeling. And I'm very, I'm very curious if we will make the final or not. Because like if if it wasn't for like a hundred percent televote semifinal, I don't think we would we wouldn't make the final because juries they are not gonna love this. Um however, we definitely have a good chance right now. Um and I just saw the Eurovision scoreboard app and we were 11th. So that's, it's, it, it's looking good. It's looking it's a, good. For it's now. a good promise. Okay. Uh, when I was looking into this, um, looking at the song and looking at where they are standing at the minute, the Netherlands is performing in the second semifinal and on the second half. Um, and from Thankfully. what I've seen, like anything like, I think it's potential. Um, I think there's just one other entry that I think might be a bit of a clash for me, and I think that's Estonia. Oh, for sure. For yeah, sure. The Estonia, and you know they're not in the same half, but maybe Switzerland. But that's just because of the. I, I'd say I wouldn't say it's because of the same genre. I think it's the same of. I think what they can bring into the stage and i think yeah when what when what we've seen with um estonia as well we know that they're gonna bring something yeah huge. and i'm gonna go crazy and i know with yost as well that he's gonna do the same thing so like it's gonna be a big party so i think my main concern is will there be a casualty out of the three or would it be like i i, I think the appeal would be consistent enough that all three of them would get through. But oh what are what are your thoughts on that? I think for me, Boris, I think you can definitely qualify from this. Okay, at the time of recording, we don't know all of the songs. There's like a few songs still to be revealed. Yeah, and um, so I think he can. I think I think you can make it from what I can. Oh yeah, sense. yeah. I I'm think guessing... so as well. Like mm -hmm. looking at it right now. With the songs we have right now, we're qualifying. However, we don't know we don't we don't we don't know what the others will bring yet. Um, it he's not gonna win his semi. He's not gonna win the semi. He's like maybe top five somewhere over there. Mm -hmm. However, if there are gonna be like more songs that are gonna be very good and very quality wise good as well, mm -hmm. um, it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be it's gonna be exciting. Mm -hmm. Okay, then, and also looking at it, if 
Yost does make it to the final, yeah. How do you think he'll do? Because obviously, different voting system, different. Mm. Ooh, the juries are not gonna love this. The juries are. I, I'm like, okay, saying it right now, maybe twenty points from the juries. I don't think he's gonna get a lot. Um, but I think Televote. I, I, I'd see. I'd say a similar result to Croatia last year for mm -hmm. sure. Okay. I can definitely see that happening. Like one hundred twenty Televote points, something like that. Yeah. Okay, we'll we'll go back to this in the summer, and I'll 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 write up an article yeah. with all our crazy predictions. Okay, then. But um, one final question too is um, obviously as the as one of the Dutch people I've talked to about this, um, how do you think the broadcast is doing now? Obviously, there was a heavy backlash last year, and how do you think yeah. they're doing now? And what would you like to see them do further on after Yosa's participation in Mamba? For like next year, you mean? Yeah, I think like how do you think they should, you know? I'd say move forward from this. The formula from this right now, it's like they select an artist and mm -hmm. then uh, they've got to perform live because usually it was just they select a song, not based on a live performance or whatever. It was just a song and that's it. And they should keep that. We have a new head of delegation. Um. He was head of contest last year. And I really think he has a clear mind on how Eurovision, how we should approach it. Um, however, this is also his first year as like a head of delegation and a staging. Well, he's not the staging director, but he definitely has got to do something with it. Mm -hmm. And I'm very curious how he's going to stage a song like this. Um and I hope they, I hope they do well. I wouldn't know how to stage this. I, I, I just hope lots mm -hmm. of flashy lights or whatever. Um, I, I don't know yet. I don't know what I can expect from this team. That's it. That's mm -hmm. the thing. Yeah. So I wouldn't know what they should do for next year. Just keep the formula. Keep yeah. the way we present the songs. Keep the hype as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think like. I think the internal selections are going well. It's not always going to be 100%. Like, we knew yeah, that, obviously, from the outset. Like, it would depend on the song. And I think Netherlands are doing a great job, like, you know, bouncing back, I think, from yeah. last year. And, you know, with all of the changes that have occurred. So, you know, um, I'm just hoping for the best. Um, but my, my final question to you, because um, you're the Yaos Farah out of the two of us. Yeah. Um, if they like your papa... <laughs> Um, yeah. What should they listen to next? Ooh, I would say one hundred percent Friesen Young. Yeah. And Droom Groot, mm -hmm. Droom Groot. I guess it's it, oh, those songs. They are made for the Eurovision stage. I swear. All right then. Definitely. Okay then. Well, to be fair, though, I was listening to those two actually when oh, before shit. we were going. Oh. Yeah, and I was just like. Okay, I can I can I can see why um I can see why he's being liked like it's something that reminds me of like when I was a bit younger when EDM was a bit more it, it had yeah, you know, it had yeah, that hype exactly. of just like but I, I you know I I can see why he's, I think he'll it's some I think it would stand out in its own right I think oh for sure yeah. for sure but in any case um what do you guys think of your papa do you think Yos would do very well in Malmo? Let us know in the comments. Uh, but before I go, I just want to say thank you very much, Cal, for joining me. Of really course, appreciate it. Thank um, you, man. Where can we follow you on socials? Well, on Twitter, um, on Instagram, and also on YouTube uh, with Eurovision Universe. Okay, then. Okay, then. Well, thank you very much once again. And, uh, you know, best of luck for the Netherlands. Uh, and, you know, can't wait to see you in Malmö. <laughs> All right, see you there. Thanks very much, guys. And, you know, if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and push the notification bell and all that kind of jazz. And also follow that your vision <laughs> site at that your site. There's nothing to say other than tot scenes. Tot scenes. <laughs>